So hello everyone. Uh, so I'm going to show my build with you guys. This isn't really like a strategic stat build or anything like that, or, you know, a comprehensive uh, player guide, but I play Skyrim a lot. I have a lot of videos, I have a lot of live streams. If you guys are interested in what I play, how I play, this is just it for you. This isn't, uh, yeah, anything special, but I'll show you what I do. So what I typically run is a Conjuration Archer. So I use summons. To support me, I use my Lesser Bound Bow all the time. So, you can get, uh, there's two ranks, I believe. You can get the Lesser Bound right away, pretty early in the game. And then you can get the Bound Bow later on. So, for this to work, you can do a vanilla. But, um, my mod list has a lot of the mods that I require. Ordinator and, um, Apocalypse Magic are recommended. So for our skills, I typically, for Conjuration, we're going to go down that line like that. Try to buff summoning a bit. All we want is we want to get all the way up here to Banished Danger, and we want to be able to get our buffs with our weapons like this. So uh, Run from the World is important, and um, the Soul, Soul Raider is really important for me for getting my shards. This is in vanilla, so don't worry about it. That's an important one. And then just wherever in the tree you like to do as well for summoning support. Uh, when I'm level 100 or so, probably, whatever the cap is, 50. Is it 50? You're going to have a lot of the Conjuration tree filled out. It's my favorite magic tree. So this is sort of like an Arcane Archer, uh, Oblivion Archer, kind of. And um, so that's it for that tree and Destruction. I just get one point here or two points here just to buff my vampire drain because without it it's pretty weak i don't put any points in restoration i just build it up over time you know um but then of course uh alchemy i don't really mess with it you know it's not that important really all i want here is the sneak attack i don't really need anything else there because we're not i don't use one-handed but i only use one-handed when I need a break from, from archery and I want to level up. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not, but you want to put your points in light armor. Wherever you see fits, um, I get light armor fit and that's pretty much it. I don't go further. And of course, archery, you get to go all the way. Uh, so I got two out of two, got clean kill, steady hand, and I believe I have snipe here and hawkeye. So yeah, that's pretty much where I ended up. I'll probably get perfect aim later but of course this is all from ordinator if you're interested and uh, one-handed I put a few points in just like one point just to kind of about even the odds when let's say I'm, I'm completely out of mana and I don't have a bow available or arrows left I'll whip out a one-hander and just kind of support myself until I can get my mana back and yeah that's pretty much it you're going to use light armor archery lots of conjuration i try to use it all the time so for your stat spread like you can see i've got i've got a lot of mana i put like 60 percent of my points into mana especially in the early levels because everything costs so much and um, for the stone i just have the xp stone i don't really care that much about it but you get some really cool abilities like uh frost atronach Seeker, which is from Dragonborn, the Wrath, the Wraith, Wrathman, <laughs> if I can talk. Yeah, and then a lot of cool um, Oblivion stuff. So that's pretty much what I run on all my char on my characters that I play on my own time and stream. Um, I never use heavy armor unless it's a cool armor set. And Bound Bow is pretty much my go-to, you know, and uh, Frost Atronach until you can get the Atronach. You know, I guess you could probably get like a, uh, if you do the Dark Brotherhood quest line, you can get Lucian. Or you can just do Ray Zombie or whichever um, familiar. But I pretty much just get a companion right away to help me out. And that's all we do. And of course, uh, Vampire Vampiric Drain. So kind of, because we're so focused on Conjuration and Magic. And I do have Sneak as well, right? A kind of bend towards vampire lord 
the nice thing I like about it is you can use it more than once per day on like werewolf and um it gets you out of sticky situations really easily because just because your your aoe uh drain at least for for i have sacrosanct so that really helps a lot for me you know yeah and of course you get attacked by dawn guard all the time but i get pretty much get critical strikes all the time well not all the time but quite a bit like that you know and it gets you your 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 gem as well if you have one so you don't ever have to worry about casting soul trap which is nice and it kind of uh it lasts for quite a while too once you spec into it and that's pretty much what i use uh if you guys any questions let me know it's a lot of fun for myself it's a bit of a change from regular archery you know because arrows aren't always there and you, know, you can't always find really good ones and arrow iron arrows really suck and with lesser bound you're given the ebony bow right away so it's superior in my opinion so there's no point in even using bow and arrows unless you want Ariel's bow to make it nighttime you know if you're playing vampire which i have in my quick bar right there so yeah that's pretty much what i do it's not perfect but um if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything i can do better with the build you know just let me know and also skyrim isn't really a build type game but i have a particular play style I like to adhere to you know like this like i like playing um summoners in games but i also really love archery in skyrim and this is sort of the best of both worlds for me and i really like it i hope you guys too so i'll link sacrosanct and ordinator those are necessary as, as well as um apocalypse magic